running for the Great Manchester Run 2015. This is my first ever 10K in Manchester. I did the Salford 10K last year, uh, both of which I'm doing for the Joseph Salmon Trust. It helps parents that have dealt uh, with child bereavement, so it's really, it, it, is, it is for a good cause. There's loads of people about. Uh, I didn't think it'd be this busy. When you're running with loads of other people, it just makes it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more worthwhile, do you know what I mean? So it should be good, it's exciting. Perfect weather for it, it's not too hot. So when I get my sweat on later, hopefully, uh, I'll be alright, I'll be cool, I'll be good. So I've just ran the Manchester 10k. Uh, this is the third year in a row that I've done it. Um, each year it doesn't get any easier. The only saving grace of this year was that it wasn't the hottest day of the year like last year. And I managed to do a little bit of training this year. Um, like I said, it doesn't make it any easier. It's, I don't think it's a particularly flat course, but it's all for a good cause, and you know, hopefully all the money um, Neil and the Joseph Salmon Trust can use, and it'll really help families, and it's a really good cause, so people should definitely be donating to it. I can't wait for it to start. <laughs> that was just the, that yeah. just the warm up, wasn't it? No, it was really good fun. It went a lot quicker than I thought. I thought I would have done it in over an hour, but turns out I've beaten Ross by 18, 18 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Which is really annoying because I know that you didn't train at all. No, I didn't. No, I trained And about I actually three tried ago. to train a little bit up until well, about three weeks ago. Yeah, tried, yeah. All right, Not good dude. enough, clearly. Uh, but no, we've got next year, haven't we, Ross? Well, Best of luck. Yeah. Best of luck. My name's Rachel Salmon and I am founding trustee and the treasurer of the Joseph Salmon Trust. Well, um, after our son died uh, 10 years ago, we looked a little bit further into what might and might not be available for people who had lost um, a child or a, a, a younger member of their family. There was nothing just generally to help people financially with, with the costs incurred with losing a child. So um, we thought, why not, why not try and do something uh, to address that issue and see how it goes? On average, we probably get about 20 to 25 families a year who will come to us. So it's uh, for the area that we cover, which is kind of Huddersfield and a couple of local areas near to us, uh, that's quite, I'd say it's quite a substantial amount, really. We don't have any hard and fast rules for people to be able to qualify for, for a, a pay out from us. It's if they're in need we try to help them. Uh, we've helped people who have had to give up working, um, uh, who, who have lost a whole income because they just can't face going into work anymore, um, who are having trouble paying bills. So it's anything that has, um, uh, that losing a child will can have a, finan a financial impact upon. So if you Google the Joseph Salmon Trust, it's probably the easiest way to do it. And on there, there are details of how they can donate. Uh, they can follow us on Twitter. Um, and if you can leg up Neil when he's around about the building somewhere, then, and if you want to give him some cash, <laughs> then you can do that, or um, talk to him about ways to donate, or even to fundraise with further events.